Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Nix coming at you with a brand new video today. I know it was kind of going for a quick minute, actually. Uh, I was gone for about a month. I broke my solid state drive on my PC. Sorry for the hand shot right there. Um, pretty much basically I had to go get it reconfigured I had an OS corruption basically all that uh, fancy word stuff and uh, yeah today I want to do I'm a little late on this video actually which I'm kind of upset about but that's okay because we're here now doing it so today I want to do a 2020 gaming setup guys you know everything I mean sorry I'm just logging into the computer real quick I literally just got back in from working on the car you know but uh, anyway yeah and let's jump right into it boys what's up boys we're back right here now um so basically where we're gonna start is with my dual monitor setup so currently i am running an asus mg 2488g qr gaming monitor this is 1920 by 1080p true 1080p uh dpi with hdmi and then right here, uh, sorry for that, just put that up. Right now I'm running one singular arm pop filter with a blue Yeti snowball, which I want to upgrade. Um, I am running a Scepter 1080p 60 hertz monitor. Uh, this one costed me about, let's say about 70 bucks on Amazon. This one cost me 70 bucks right here on Amazon. Uh, nothing too big, nothing too small, you know, just, just the right price. And then coming back here, guys, we're gonna show you some of the hardware. Sorry for the dust, I know, pretty, pretty bad. Um, so right now, hardware wise, I am running the HyperX Mechanical um, RGB solid. Uh, this is for like everything. I don't have a specific gaming keyboard which I kind of want to get. I want to get one of those like compacted ones. Those are pretty cool. They take up a lot less space. They're actually about the size of like, so from about right here to about right here actually. So that cuts out all of this for the, you know, for the compensation of your keys, for your number keys. And basically all you'll get is your uh, top number keys. But anyway, getting more in depth to this we have my xbox controller that i plug into the pc don't worry we'll get to the pc in a minute i know that's why y'all came so it's just a basic uh, xbox one controller um i lost i don't know what i did with my uh gears of war special edition one you know the ones with the engravings and all that cool stuff but uh basically i don't run any batteries in it because i just hardwire it to my uh from my pc to the uh, usb port and then back here we have the wonderful Elgato HD60. Um, I don't run the HD60S because I'm pretty close to actually upgrading. I mean, I pretty much just primarily play with, uh, you know, the PC. So anything I you could play on console, you can basically play on PC. Now, getting on to the aesthetics of the PC. This is actually just a pre-built scrap. So I took it for the case and I took it for the motherboard. So basically that's what I'm running right now is just the pre-built motherboard um, and the case. Everything else is custom built. Everything else is custom put in, you know, everything. So starting up top, I know some of y'all are gonna ask why am I running an ethernet adapter? Currently on this motherboard, I have a burnt out LAN port. So currently I am using the Insignia Ethernet adapter port. This is just my phone charger. Yeah, that's just phone charger. Um, this cord right here is just to my headphones. And so basically coming into the internals now, we have an ASRock B450M Legendary uh cb motherboard nothing too special um i'll hop on the computer record stuff there and show you all the specs and stuff um but currently right here we're running the amd radeon 5700 xt currently just came out about 
say it no, no more than five months ago. Um, I'm running 32 gigs of RAM. I'm running a Ryzen 7 2700X. I didn't get the LED uh, fan because I already had a fan. So I was like, nah, I don't really need a fan. Um, and then I'm just running a three case fan setup, but uh, I wanna get an all-in-one water cooler radiator, which uh, I will be setting up actually right here. I'll be taking this case off. And then, um, so if you guys can see it right there, I have one cat case for a 120 millimeter fan, but then above I have extra room for another 120 millimeter uh, case fan. So with that said, I'm gonna be buying the uh, Sub-Zero Cold all-in-one radiator. I'll be taking this off and I'll be punching in the radiator right there. So where you see the CPU fan, I'll have liquid cooling and air cooling all together. I plan to put 64 gigs of RAM I plan to upgrade to a 2080 Ti 11 gig. Um, I'm currently running a 700 watt power supply, uh, but for a 2080 Ti 11 gig, you're running, you're, that's gonna be pulling about 500 watts worth of uh, power. And then uh, I have a wireless Wi-Fi chip detector right above the graphics card for that. And now we're pretty much gonna get into the basics of the actual PC. So I'll see you guys then welcome back guys we're back on the pc and so basically what i wanted to show you is all the certified like specific specs of the actual pc yeah you saw that um i showed you all the hardware sides but i want to show you you know everything else and you know when i told you i was actually running the um ryzen 7 2600 i was actually right i'm actually running the ryzen 5 2600 six core processor at the 3400 millihertz mark but anyway we're gonna get into all that as you can see i have my system info up on the screen and i have my task manager open just to show you everything as like decisive coding because all you nerds you know i want to commemorate to you guys and just show you all my basic stuff so basically we're going to be starting at the system info so starting at the system info, I don't have much, um, you know, anything insane. Like I told you, I'm running my 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, I'm running in legacy mode due to that my Windows installation was started through legacy mode. So it's not my actual BIOS that is in legacy mode. Um, the, the version of Windows I am currently running that I installed on my solid state drive is in legacy mode. So there's that. Um, as you can tell, my boot device is a solid state drive right there by my hard disk. Um, my motherboard, like everything I told you guys, was ASRock. So I have the ASRock B450M. I'm running the Ryzen 5 2600 6 core, 34 megahertz mark with 6 cores. Um, and so basically, there's that. So now. If you come to the task manager, you know, there's my clocking speed for my basic uh, unoverclocked version. Um, at overclock rates, I am getting about 4.1 to 4.2 gigahertz. That's not bad, especially for a Ryzen 5. If you know your, if you know your chips, you know that's not bad. Um, so coming to the utilization, uh, just because due to that I'm recording, stuff like that, you know, when I'm streaming, I'm barely using 3% of the, the CPU um, because it's more towards GPU usage when I'm streaming because I'm gaming, I'm you know all that stuff. Uh, so I'm processing about 153 times a second right now. Uh, my threads, my threads differ between 1600 to uh, 1800, um, just due to that it is a um, 17 um, a basic 750 megahertz processor. So that's pretty good, you know what I mean? Uh, now running down to actual, not the internet, because you are you can already tell, I'm uh, just, I'm wired. And so here is my actual, you know, GPU processing. Due to recording utilization is at 41%. You know, that's not bad for the 5700 XT if you've done your benchmarks. Um, it's an eight gig graphics card. Um, pretty good man um, the shared memory through it actually is a whole 16 gigs 
so it, it runs fairly fast you know the memory on it though is 24 gigs so i mean like i say guys it's a it's a fairly fast card for its for its you know benchmark um at its price point you know you you think you'd be getting gypped out of something but i'm telling you overall it's a great card and you know everything i'm listing right now uh it'll be in the description below if you want to build like mine or if you you know want to take from what i have and build up i mean there's still stuff i want to add and i'll i'll leave that in the description below so you know i'm on the newest driver version that was literally last month's update yeah last month's update and um pretty much now we're gonna get into the applications that i currently use to um record and, you know play games and stuff like that so here we are on my dashboard you know um here is my editing software that i use i use sony vegas 17 um craft <laughs> got him uh i use photoshop correct uh but yeah basically all this editing software is pretty basic i mean you can find all these extraction files on you know mega or you know uh winroar well not winroar you use winroar to actually extract the files through and um you know it's pretty simple man as you can see i have grand theft auto i have discord steam steam lab stream labs uh stream labels is right up there for you know the actions of when people follow people subscribe um cs and pluto i just got into pluto i'll be doing a video on that very shortly actually but besides that guys there there really isn't anything else it's a pretty basic setup um there's my face it for cs when i play face it match hubs um, we can get into the actual software of Radeon, you know, I was trying to key command it, but it wasn't working, fucking piece of shit. So, um, you know, starting right here, starting the actual software, here we are, we're, we're booting that up. So, uh, you know, performance wise, not much different to like I said, like to the task manager, uh, actual GPU usage right now, you know, I like to take from the actual, when you're trying to differentiate if it's gaming usage or if it's uh, just recording usage, obviously the task manager is going to be right in its own way, but I mean, the Radeon software is going to be right in its own way. So just putting that out there, like, I mean, overall performance of the usage of this is about eight to ten eight to ten usage right now i have eight percent ram being used which is actually not very much at all if you saw how much ram i'm carrying um you know i right through here i have the basic rights to just pretty much overclock the gpu i can undervolt my gpu so say if i need all my cuda cores so i need the power but not i need it to do math for me you know, I needed to do this blending, like, you know, I have Blender, I just don't have it installed currently. Um, you know, so that's pretty much how that works. You're, you're, you're doing a math for you. It's not really putting out power, it's basically helping it process better. Uh, overclock, um, I don't really suggest overclocking unless you have an OC achievable card. Um, you know, I have OC achievable VRAM because it's Corsair Pro 60, uh, pro and um so yeah i mean if i even want to i can manually overclock everything i can access the fans i can access vram i can access fan tuning uh power tuning you know i don't like to though because it's just not safe unless like i've said if you don't have oc achievable equipment but anyway, guys, that's been pretty much it for the actual setup. That's my basic running. I mean, I'm telling you guys, you know, it's a good, they're good things, man. They're, they're good. You, I'm going to show my upgrade list, my upgrade wish list in the description below. Um, I'll leave everything I use in the PC currently right now in the description below with Amazon links or Newegg links. Um, but pretty much for that now, you know. 
that's everything for now. Um, if you did enjoy the video, you know, make sure to leave a like. Go check me out on Twitch, Twitter. I am always live on Twitch from 7 p.m. to about 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, I live on Twitter basically, so make sure to follow me there. Uh, and yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And we're gonna let it burn.